Hello, my name is Stefan. I'm a PM on the Remote Desktop Services team. And what I'm gonna walk you through here is the process of creating a virtual machine that's gonna be running a domain controller and how we set up a connection with Azure AD with the goal of this being the identity system behind our WVD deployment. I have logged in into Azure. This is the subscription where I would like to deploy uh, my uh, virtual machine with a domain controller. And to do that, I'm going to go to create resources. I'm going to select template deployment. Now here, I'm going to continue with the flow. And in the quick start template, I'm going to be looking for Active Directory new domain. In this situation, I'm just going to set up a non-high availability solution as this is a demo environment. I'm going to select the template. And then here, I'm going to enter the information required for executing the template. The first option is to select the subscription where we're going to deploy the virtual machine. Uh, in this case, I have only one option. Then I'm going to select the resource group. I don't have a pre-created resource group, so I'm going to use the create new and create a new resource group called Active Directory or AD for short. That's okay. The location that I'm going to use is Central US. Uh, now here I'm going to specify the administrator and a password that meets the Azure complexity requirements. So once I have specified the password, I need to specify the domain name. In this case, I'm going to use the one provided by Azure as I, as I have not set up a custom domain name. And then the DNS prefix will be everything else. I'm going to leave to the default values. I'm going to agree and I'm going to click purchase, which will execute my template. As you can see, Azure is doing validation right now. And at this moment, uh, the deployment has started. Here we can see the progress. And you can see that certain operations being executed. Now this is going to take some time uh, as we are provisioning a VM. Uh, and I'm going to resume once we are back from this. As you can see, we are about three minutes into the process. Uh, most of the resources have been created. The VM has been created. Uh, now it's setting up the domain controller. Probably take another five minutes. Um, and I will resume the video once we are there. And finally, after about uh, what seemed like forever, 18 minutes, you can see that uh, the deployment has completed. At that point, if I go to my resource groups, I can see the one that I've created, AD. And here I have my domain controller. So now at this point, we're going to connect to the domain controller. I'm getting the RDP file. Here it is. And now I'm going to connect. The key key here is to make sure that you're connecting to the local machine using the account that we created during the onboarding process of the template. And then we're going to say yes. At that point, we are connecting. This uh, might take a few minutes, as this is the first time you're booting up this machine, and um, it really depends on the size of the Vim machine and the uh, type of hard drive. And you can see that the VM was finally able to walk me in. I'm going to select no here. I'm going to minimize. Uh, okay. And I'm going to open Internet Explorer. And at that point, I'm going to go to the Azure AD Connect download page and download the executable.
we're going some uh, aggressive pop-ups from the security settings so finally okay I need to tweak a few things and let me download that okay the download has completed I'm gonna go into my downloads folder I'm gonna execute the Azure AD connect Here is the screen. I'm just gonna close these two so we don't get confused. I'm gonna agree to the license terms. I'm gonna use the express settings. It's gonna do some quick hookups for us. And then here I need to enter the domain name, uh, sorry, the account that has permissions to the Azure AD. I've entered the credentials and I'm now gonna continue by clicking next. As you can see, it's doing the sync up. Now it's asking me for the permissions to the local machine. Um, again, I'm going to click next. And I made a mistake with my password. Okay, at that point, after correcting my password, I am able to see that the Azure ID signing configuration screen. And in this case, I'm going to select the option, continue without matching all UPN suffixes to verify domains. I'm going to continue, next. And at that point, I'm going to complete the installation. And this is going through the standard setup. As you can see here, uh, the images are being, sorry, the messages are being updated. I'm going to pause the video until this is completed and then uh, we're going to see how this works once completed and you can see on the screen that the configuration has completed at that point i am gonna go and create some users i will wait for those to sync to my azure active directory and i will continue with the next phase which is in creating a session host pool